you know, I sure would like to keep talking right now. But at the current moment, I feared a DMCA claim so much that I feel like if I just talk regularly, I'm somehow going to get claimed. So let's just continue with Pokemon Sword, the Crown Tundra. Now granted, I haven't gotten any other claims on my Twitch yet. I've gotten more on YouTube than Twitch, but that was before this whole shit, so I don't know how long that's going to last. Before we actually get to the Pokemon, though, I do need to uh, do something. I've been completely forgetting. So we actually need to go to Mystery Gift. And we've got a bunch of codes to put in, actually. Because if you remember, during the, uh, the, the the live stream I reacted to for the Crown Tundra... Yeah, everyone's like, okay, whatever. They were, they were having this Pikachu promotion, where like they were, they'd be releasing codes for specific Pikachu's hats. And I have all the codes. So we're going to start by uh, putting all those in. The one that started it all. The, the code that had a name I loved so much. Pikachu get. Or just, just Pikachu get. I hope this is right. <laughs> hey, 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 there we go. And look at this. Look at this. Look at this! It's a Pikachu with Ash's first hat! It's perfect. We're just opening boxes to get hats. To get Pokemon with hats. And then this one would be... I'm not sure if these are in order. I'm just doing them in the order I have them in. So this one is... Pika Advance. And this one gets the Hoenn Cap. Sweet. And these codes are broad. They're for everyone. So if you want to get all these, you can just put in these codes immediately. These aren't like one-time use things. I'm sure you can find them online, and I, they might only be available for a small amount of time, so I'd get on these as fast as you can. Because, I mean, why wouldn't you just want free multi-hat Pikachus? Must have extreme focus. Entering Pokemon code. Hope that's right. Bolt Tech Lepi Ka. The Sinnoh Cat. There's always something weird about Ash's outfit in Gen 4 or Sinnoh. I don't know. Like, I didn't. It wasn't that I didn't like it, it just it never sat right with me, you know? Same with Gen 5, really. It was just. I don't know. Then again, I don't think he actually had an outfit I liked all that much until, like, Sun and Moon. I still gotta watch this, like, more of the Pokemon anime. Like, the Sun and Moon one looks really good. Looks more like my kind of... My kind of wave. Shit. Hmm. There we go. Pick a best wish. Yenvok. Oh, Yenvok Cap. Best wish. Maybe it was a movie? I don't know. When I, when I saw Best Wish, I was thinking like... I don't know. The Jirachi movie. From Gen 3. Why would that be for Sinnoh? I mean, Unova. Alright, next one is Kalos. A 
I can't wait to see the box of Pokemon I have for this. It's just gonna be like the new Regis, maybe Cobalion, maybe the next Legendaries again, and then just a bunch of different Pikachus with hats. It'll be glorious. Yes, yes. I require more Pikachu! Let me get them here so I don't have to grind for them in Pokemon Go. Alright, next one is Ultra Pika, and I don't know what that is. I'm not sure what this one's gonna be for. Alola! Oh. Oh, I guess because yeah, Ultra Sun Moon, right. Yeah. I you know, I still have- I'm still midway through an Ultra Moon playthrough. I think I was, would play it right now, it's just... I think because I'm doing this at the moment, I am having a hard time convincing myself to go back to Ultra Moon. So once I'm done with this DLC, hopefully I can play that, which will maybe get me to replaying X and Y sooner. Unless I decide to only do that for the stream. But if I do, it's because I'll be doing that whole Pokemon thing I talked about in like Mario 64. And that, and by the time I'd get to Galos, it would be like... Maybe like months and months down the line, maybe. Maybe years. So maybe, I don't know, maybe I just want to play X and Y sooner than later, just so I can get a decent understanding of it. Because again, haven't played it since launch. I like to view it with the, the lens of being a game I've already been disappointed with. Because <laughs> usually when I do, I, I end up liking the game a little more. And it's kind of an odd feeling. Or once time passes, people like chill out with the game and it's like, Oh no, this one's good. Like that kind of happened with Gen 5. Because people, you know. It wasn't the most liked when it came out. I loved it, but you know. And now, you know, everyone loves it. It's like, oh, best gen. It's like, oh, great. I'm glad it took us... I'm glad it took us a song to get here. But the same... Oh, ooh. Pika 8... That looks familiar. I don't remember what that is, though. Alright, that, I think that's all of them. There's only eight, from what I remember. But yeah, and now that the time has passed, so then people are like... Oh, yeah, X and Y. It was a great game. I actually really like that one, and and then meanwhile, I'm just like, no, still don't like it. Or, well, I like it, but, you know, not compared to the other games. But who knows, maybe if I replay it, I'll like it more. I'm sure I'd like it more, actually. But how much I'd like it more is the question. Anyways, now that we've gotten all the codes out of the way, it's time to actually play the game. And also, I could probably delete these codes. Although, Pika Chuck it will remain. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. And I'm back in my normal outfit. So last time, we caught all the Reggies, and we finished all of Peony's expedition stuff. But we ended up getting, like, this Ultra Beast thing that I think we need to give to Peony, who's in the... the Dynamax Adventure Cave. Whatever that is. No, you, you didn't just put your tent out here, did you? It's like a white streak in the air. That usually means there's a tent or something. That's like, you're really gonna put your tent right in front of this public... This public... Affili affiliated spot. Uh, going in. Do I really want- do I really want to talk to you right now? 
Hey there, Chief. Thanks for stopping by. I'm finally getting a little quality family time with my darling Nia. Hmm? I dropped something at base camp. Is that really mine? I don't ever work. I don't recall ever writing it. Hmm? Hang on! Isn't that the Max Lear there in that clue? Oh. Huh? What happened? Creatures! A horde of creatures appeared in the Max Lair, and we don't know if they're Pokemon. What? Has something caused alien beings to appear? We're going straight to aliens, huh? And this somehow connected to that ultra... And is that somehow connected to that ultra wormhole that opened up briefly in the sky? I'm glad this is the first time hearing about that. Well, sounds like some new crazy things afoot. And you know what that means, Chief? Bet you a new expedition's approaching. And I know just what to call this one. They came from the Ultra Beyond. <laughs> How do you like that one, Chief? Anyway, for now, there's a goal. Catch the Pokemon, or whatever, in a photo on that odd clue. Now get pumped for some more adventuring! Yay. How do you feel about, about all this? Peonia. Wait, I thought you were... Oh, oh Peonia. Nia. Oh. oh, hey, Zeter. You alright? Me? I'm carrying on like usual, I suppose. That scientist lady apparently used to work at a lab in the Alola region. Doesn't Alola sound absolutely brilliant? Just think. All the malasadas you could eat. Oh, hey, 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 hey. I know someone like that. Don't go how on me. I got enough people like how already. <laughs> I guess we're gonna have to go on a Dynamax adventure. According to my notes, it seems you might know how to find certain special Pokemon. Oh. Oh, I can just look for these? Oh, that's sick. Anything is fine, since we need to look for... Get, uh... Ultra Beasts. Which I'm assuming... Is, is this gonna be the first one we come across? I'd hope so. What's good, Alex? Anyone else? Majestic Ash. Well, if Majestic Ash is ready, so am I. And then we got Brian. He's gonna take the Sandaconda, I know it. All right, in that case, I'll uh, I'll take Sharpedo. I've used Sharpedos a couple times. I think uh, I think I've used them twice in Gen 3 playthroughs. Really good. Unless you get one with the nature that lowers your speed set, in which case, it's very bad. I had that for Omega Ruby. Because I like, all right, I've already used Sharpedo before, but at the same time, Sharpedo has like a unique overworld sprite when you're surfing. So I'll use him again. And then I didn't check his nature. By the time I, and by the time I'd already found out, it was too late. Uh, let's go... Pumpkin or... I don't know if it, I think that's just a line noon, so let's go for grass. Y'all are bitches. Because the thing is, Sharpedo is really good in that, you know, it's basically just a glass cannon. Really fast, really strong. But it's defensive shit. And when you don't have the speed to match up with that, when you're, like, not outspeeding half the Pokemon you come across, what's the point? Who chose the Basculin? Are you kidding me? I'm not sure if Swagger would actually work, so let's do Skill Shot. This is- it's just a team of three fishes and a snake! Or two fishes, a shark, and a snake. This is awful. Oh, I see the plan here. I see the plan here. We use the Santa Cana Dynamax form as a tornado. It creates 
an air wave or air vacuum that it's going to scoop us up with and then we're going to have our very own Sharknado shit. You enjoy these shifting camera angles? How about again? How about another time? Did you enjoy your five different camera angles? Yes, if only my Sharpedo was like this. This this man is... The Sharpedo is very fast. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just keep, keep using Scale Shot. I'm gonna go first anyway. Time to waste your time more. Oh. I mean, granted, it wouldn't really matter if Sharpedo had, like, you know, stuff that would lower his speed and then raise his... I mean, lower his defense and then raise his speed. Because by the time he'd be able to use it, he'd already be dead. I see... I see Berskuda here is doing the same thing as I. Join me. I want to use Berskuda for my Sword and Shield playthrough. I saw the previous evolution of him, like, oh, that, 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 that thing is fantastic. I love it. But I already had a full team at that point. Or, well, a team of five, and then also CDOT, who was not leaving my team for whatever reason. I needed him. Newts was an essential member of the team. Even though he's not with us now, because Hangi is here. Which is fine. Hangi's done well for us. Yay! Remember, any Pokemon- I mean, any Pokeball works on these guys. They're not gonna escape. I'm fairly certain that's true with the last Pokemon, too, but I'm... Alex, you're stupid if you want this. Okay. Oh, three options. This walks right. Yeah, sure. Oh, we actually decided on that. Okay. Okay. This is gonna suck now, though, because now I'm stuck with Linoon. Like, someone else is gonna want to swap to this. And now I'm just stuck with Lin- I mean, I like Linoon. Kind of. I wanted to like Linoon, but they just weren't good. They could learn all the moves I wanted them to. But it just wasn't that good, because most of them didn't have stab. Ooh. This doesn't mean shit for me. But also, it's gonna take three turns for the other guy to Dynamax. We'll win by that point. Let's just get some heavy damage out. Or a special attack. Ooh, that could be good. Big Linoon. It is Big Linoon Monday. That was a crit? Alright, we'll check this out. Oh, that's the shit right there. All right, we'll have this. We'll have this one by the next turn. I 
I don't even think we're gonna get a hit. We're just Gucci. We're good. I'm just saying, the guy who has the Basculin really ought to switch out to this Luxury when we, when we get him. Because, like, Beruscuta, good. Sandaconda, good. Linoon, fine enough. But, like, Basculin, why do you even fucking choose Basculin in the first place? It's such a worthless Pokemon. Buddy. Is that Basculin brain of yours working? This is gonna suck if this turn gets skipped and we don't kill the Luxray. Okay, good. Oh great, you burned him. He's already dead. Useless. But hey, that's a luxury. Yay! I really like these Dynamax Adventures. They're really fun. Like, if I played Pokemon as much as I did back in the day, I would do so much of this. Heck, I might even do some of this, you know, off-stream. After we're, we're finished with Crown Tundra. Yeah, if you want this, Brian, feel free, dude. Those aren't great moves, actually. Please take it, Brian. Please. Please. Okay, good. Good. <laughs> we all know what we're doing here. We all, we all know what we're doing. Ground. Or... Is that a fucking Blaziken? Let's go for the Blaziken. Oh. I mean, it would... A backpacker? What does that do? Ooh. We special fence on the street terrain. Ah. Uh... Focus band, because I think I have more physical moves than special. I mean, Wish Cash is fine. Like, the ground type has still got to screw my Linoon up, as opposed to the Blaziken's fighting attack, but I would have rather had a Blaziken, man. I can catch a Wish Cash. We've seen them in this wild area. We don't even have anyone who's super effective against this. The Luxray can't even do anything! Okay, well we had Snarl, but Throw Chop's a little better anyway. I don't feel too bad about getting the Focus Sash. Like at the very least, if we went for the Blaziken, Barrascuta would have been good against them. Senecana would have been good against them. Luxray would have been fine. I would have been weak to them, but that's fine. Here, we don't have anyone good against the Wishcash. And we have two people weak to them. Or wait, no, no, no. I think I think it's just the uh, Luxray that's bad against them. Still, though, like, the Why? If this, if this motherfucker with the Luxray, Luxray, really Dynamaxes. Oh my goodness. You're an, you're a mono-electric type. What are you doing? Scooter would have been a better choice. I would have been a better choice. 
Santa Connor wouldn't have been. I guess he's got max strike. Yeah, fair enough. But also, do you realize how fast you're going to die? Oh, you got Shell Bell. That's a good one. Oh. Okay, I guess we have sand again. I think I might have wanted to use the Sandaconda in the game too. I know I've used them for Dynamax battles just because it was a good gra a good ground type to use, but that one for the main game. There were a lot of Pokemon I wanted to use in the main game, I just couldn't. Because I already had a full team. I didn't want to not use the team I already had. I could have gotten rid of Newts, but again, that wasn't an option. And I'm happy that I didn't get rid of him because it paid off. We'd already be done here if we had chosen the Blaziken. But no, go for the Wish Cash. It wasn't as tall, it was less scary. Fuck out of here. Hey, wait a minute. No, 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 no. We've already... We've already seen Ultra Beasts. Haven't we? We fought... The first Pokemon we fought when we got in here, our first Legendary, was a Guzzlord. Maybe it, maybe it needs a specific Ultra Beast, I don't know, but like... I don't know what... You know what, that, that sound of a Pokemon losing its Max form? the sort of electric sound. It kind of reminds me of a Pokemon going back into its ball in the GameCube games. Just a little thing I noticed. Alright, cool. We got a Wish Cash, which I am not putting on my team, so I don't really need to catch it. But why not? I'm thinking if anyone gets this, it should be the guy with the better Skewda. Or, well, I guess it would be either Alex or Majestic Ash. That is a decent wish cache, though. Then again, it's got no Earthquake or anything, so it wasn't really that good. No, the motherfucker who got paralyzed and is at 55 health decided not to get- or- I don't know why I'm going for the Wish Cash. Like, we're gonna be fighting a Dragon type. A Scientist, what does that do? Oh, I see. A rental Pokemon I could swap with someone. I guess we're good. No, let me swap out the Wish Cash. I don't want to. Imagine I swap it out and I get a Bear Tick. Perfect timing. Alright. Who are we getting this time? Oh! Palkia! have you been, my friend? The boy from Pokemon Pearl.
Okay, so it's also a water type. So dragon water. So that means muddy water, the only move I had fucking stab with isn't good. Let's try Zen Headbutt then. Imagine if it was Dialga though. Because if it was, and I had gotten rid of, you know, Linoon with the good fighting type attack. Or, well, no, third chop is dark. Nah, whatever. I know a lot of people like Dialga more than, than Palkia, but... I've always been a bit more of a fan of Palkia, just because, you know, I started with Pokemon Pearl. It's nostalgia. It was my Pokemon game, so that's what I I liked more. Too bad I don't have my original Palkia because uh, I traded to someone I knew who is close by. Like I could walk I could walk downstairs and talk to them. And they seemed to forget that they had it. And then they deleted their file along with that Palkia. As well as the first shiny I ever caught. I'm not upset. I've gotten over it. Guys, just stop dying. If this if this wasn't a dragon and a water type, muddy water would be really good now, wouldn't it? Yo, I'm out of here. I mean, you know, on, on the other hand, on the one hand, at least Blaziken wouldn't have been that good to get. But like, still, compared to Wish Cash, we would have been doing better. But also, I'm gonna blame the other two out who's out right now, because they didn't swap a Pokemon to fight a Dragon type. They fucking did not swap their Pokemon when they were at like 50 health. One of them paralyzed. It's like y'all, y'all are the one who chose the Wish Cash. You did this to yourself. Scale shot. Oh, because it's a dragon move, right? I had that. I had that, didn't I? Maybe I should have kept. Maybe I should have kept my Pokemon, huh? Oh, okay, Wish Cash. Yeah, just appear. Thanks. Actually, no, 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 it's probably fine if he die maxes, because he's got the dragon move. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good idea. Eat a held berry. I don't have a berry. Why would they give me this fucking move here, where you can't get, well, actually, you could have gotten a berry. But I would, it would have been before I got the wish cash. So how would I know that? Damn it. Whatever, I'm sure the focus sash will actually do me well. So long as no one else dies, which won't happen, we're gonna catch this Palkia. Don't worry. Ah. Ah. It missed. Lowered attack. I'm not sure if that's actually good or not. No fight stat change. Oh, okay. It's not looking too bad. Actually, yeah, things are looking pretty good for us. If only I went before the Palkia so I could actually make him flinch, though. 
Or if I had, you know, at least a ground type attack. That would help. But no, you're just a... You are one of the worst wish caches I've ever seen. You're just stuck headbutting them. Like if it was just a dragon type or just a water type, I'd probably go with muddy water because even if it's not very effective, you know, it could might. I probably won't rain, but like you know, I'll at least get stabbed. It's a stronger attack. Why would you use endure? Like, you're not that low. You're not the one at risk here. You're a water type. Look, just Zen had put this dude. Uh, it, it, it won't finish them off. We still got one more turn. Let's just follow this through, finish this, catch the Palkia, and be done with this team. I've had it up to here with them. And eh, money water, why not? It won't matter. You know, if they had used skill shot before, we could have ended it on that last turn. I could have finished it off. I could have finished it. Um, I know I probably don't need to use an Ultra Ball, but I just want to make sure I can catch a Palkia. It just sucks I can hardly ever have a special connection with a Palkia anymore, because my first one got fucking deleted. Not on purpose, I'm sure, but just... I'll never forget that. <laughs> I remember too, it was the only Pokemon I actually used in battle outside of my Empoleon for that playthrough of Pearl. Good times. Welcome to the team, Palkia. Yeah. Cool. Uh huh. All right. Well, let, let's look at that um that clue. Oh, yeah. okay. There was a max wormhole, huh? I wonder if we could still see that. Probably not. Oh no, that's a Cosma. That's who we're looking for. I'm gonna find Necrozma! What's up? I found... Blaze Falon Down in the la mid lair. Who? I've never heard that name before. That's news to me! Guzzlord Rayquaza. Oh, it's probably because we haven't caught- Because I didn't choose Guzzlord or Rayquaza. Yeah, because with Rayquaza, I got the flag on, and then with Guzzlord, I got Hangry. The Palkia was the first legendary I actually got, surprisingly. Alright, going again. Oops. I pressed the ZR button. Yeah, I think, we could, I think we, we're just going to do this three times, and then that'll be the stream for the Pokemon... DLC for now. If anything, it'll be a good way to do more Dynamax Adventure. Just get some good content on this. Psych. I don't want to be number three. Psych, Zarian. Or Zarin. And C Zarek 681. Well, now I'd feel rude if I left, so let's go. I mean, this is this is kind of the only thing left we've got with this. We've got this, 
And then we've got to find the rest of the footprints and get Therkine and Verizian, so... You know. Don't take Barrer. I want Barrer. Please. Please! Yes! I like Barrer. I've got one of my Ultra Moon team right now. They've been very helpful. They're very good. Don't take Dunsparce. Barrascuda, he, he has returned. Alright, so Necrozma is... I forgot exactly what typing he has. I don't think that's gonna be him. Okay, Mamoswine or... Stunfisk. Ah, uh, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, Pillow Swine's probably better just because we have more Pokemon that are better for it. Oh man, someone from the Isle of Armor has joined us. He was, he was in the middle of his chain, he's like, oh wait, hold up, the Crown Tundra released. I'll be right back, y'all. <laughs> Fuck training her, Shifu. Oh, I don't have any fighting type moves. Oh, that's not good. I mean, it'll be fine, but, you know. I'll use Double Edge for now. I only have moves that can hurt me, or... Uh, well, I have one move that hurts me, one move that just prevents me from doing anything. The next turn... I might want to swap out for the Pillow Swine. Actually, that'd be a really good idea since we're going to be finding a fighting, a flying type. So, I might want the Pillow Swine. As much as I'd like for wear. I love Pillow Swine. I, lo I love Pillow Swine. It's like eyes hiding under its there. It's adorable. A Giga Impact should finish this guy off, hopefully. Not for me, of course, but, you know, for all of us. And hopefully Gyro Ball will do it. Yes, okay, cool. Two turn battle. It's what we like to see here. I want him. I want him. Give me that thick, fat pillow swine. Those moves are actually perfect for what we need, so come on. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me! Mine. Siren, you already have an ice type! You're fine! Like, you've already got a good Pokemon for the end of this. Why do you want this? What? The guy with the... The guy with the Beriscuta got it? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, I hate this. I hate this team. Rental Pokemon I could swap with someone. I only have one, though. I will swap.
Yeah, that's right. Give me the Pokemon. Watch it. Give me a. Oh, Togekiss. Togekiss is good. Makes him glad we didn't go for the Electabuzz. Oh, wait. Is Togekiss a normal flying type still? Did Fairy type change anything? I'll have to check that. Did someone leave? Someone left. I have to play rough. Mystical fire? Okay. Yeah, I guess we'll do play rough right now. Let me just check. Yeah, fairy type. Cool. Very, uh, flying. It's also good play rough. Oh, look at you. Look at you and your cool Peerless Wine that I didn't want. Oh, the person with the vin... With the I uh, I keep forgetting the Pokemon's name. Vanillish, I think. Vanilla. I'm pretty sure they have a Vanillish specifically. The person with that left just because they didn't get a Pillow Wine. You already had a. <laughs> you already had an Ice type. The final Pokemon is flying. What's wrong with you? You left just because of that. Now I wish I had left at the beginning. Yeah, play rough. Just because it might lower attack stat, which is good. That's a dead squirrel. Very good for us. Oh! I was hearing right. Okay, I, I was hearing like a little sort of noise. It was the, uh, it was the Tokitix wings. It actually makes the sound. That's cute. Also, I should probably be using Mystic Fire since Bufflants probably have better defense and special defense. Even if it doesn't have stab, it might be better. And even though my attack's been rising, maybe this wasn't the best idea. I don't know. Oh, good, a crit. Yes. Ooh, chunky. Yeah, I really, I really should have just kept with the attack set because that is that's beefy, beefy, and they're frozen. Could have done that before the crit, but whatever. Yep, should have stuck with play rough. Well, this one's on me. They're one attack. They're one attack away from dying. Just choose anything. Okay, that's not too bad. We can recover from that. Oh, good. They dodged Blizzard.
All right, who wants a buffalo? Yay! You know, I didn't think when we were done with catching Palkia that the team I would get afterwards was actually going to be worse. Yeah, it's like you can have it. I mean, you know, the psych dude, he seems fine. He's a wreck, just kind of taking his time. But the other person, what the fuck was their deal? Just an asshole. Fighting or psychic. I forget which one Fairy was good against. I'm going to assume it was fighting. The CPU should probably take this Pokemon. I hope they do. Fuck's sake. Come on! <laughs> for a Maractus? You do realize you've already had a Pokemon faint. We only have so long! Never mind, I hate- I was trying to make excuses for the other teammates. No, they all just suck. Honestly, the guy with the Peeler Swine probably- No, because they took- No, I just don't like them. Because I should have gotten that Peeler Swine. Great, and now when I need attack, I can't even use it. Or wait, I can go Dynamax, can't I? Nope, next turn. Well, I still got play rough. Oh wait, life do. Restores the HP of itself and the ally Pokemon in the battle. Wait, why wasn't I using this? Yeah, I should use that. Just once at least to see if how how good it is. I guess yeah, I guess the guy with the Bufflant's thought process was I'm gonna fight a fighting type. Having a normal type Pokemon like Bufflant probably isn't going to be great. I guess that's understandable. Like Maractus probably is the better choice. You can't say I didn't try to help. What, what do you mean, Storm Drain? Okay, good. I thought that would get rid of everyone's health. That wasn't a great increase, especially because that token, I mean, that Vanillish is going to die in one hit anyway. But at the very least, I get Max Starfall now. Go. Yay! So what's the consensus on this? Oh, that's gonna be strong. Oh, what's the consensus on this? Toka tick or Toka kiss? Because clearly it's a, a crit. Oh, good, another crit. <laughs> Again. Oh. Because, I mean, Togetic is clearly the better Pokemon. But, like, I've always liked Togetic's design more. I remember the first time I saw Togetic, I'm like, what did they do to him? <laughs> and, I mean, granted, I like it now. It's like, it's still cute. But, like, it's just something I've always liked about Togetic's design more. That didn't do shit. That might help. Now, assuming the Hitmontop doesn't attack Tokatik again, we should be fine. Like, I mean, who, who are we kidding? We're going to lose. We're not going to get past this. We're not going to catch the final Pokemon, but, like, still. Max Flare. Yeah, you know what? Let's just use that. 
It's not super effective. Uh, actually, the other one had stab, so that's probably better. I'm just wondering how well up on top's special defense is compared to its defense. And surprisingly, it didn't go for Tokatik. Okay, we got this. Cool. We'll at least see what the last Pokemon is. And we'll get a Hitmontop, and I like Hitmontops. Never used one. But I mean, look at him. Look at him doing his old jaunty in place dance there. It's so good. Our team is so screwed. No one better take that. Oh, well, then again, oh, triple axel. For an ice type, but they're swapping for it too. Mine! I get to be mean this time. So, who was the last Pokemon? Who is the Pokemon we're not going to be able to catch? Because our team was very spiteful this time. Oh! Yeah, battle! The better Gen 6 Legendary. It's like this game is giving me all the Legendaries I like. And Ultra Beast, because Godzord was first. Look at that hip on top go. Oh! Wait, what's coaching? Zero so properly coaches its ally Pokemon, boosting their attack and defense stats. That could be good. But then again, if this is Dragon Flying, this will do times four. So, yeah. I'm sure Dynamax, the other Dynamax Pokemon, will boost their stats plenty enough. We don't have time to be boosting our party, our party's Pokemon. We need to just... Hit them hard and fast, and Pillowswine Dynamaxing is probably the best thing that can happen. Sucker Punch. Wait, why did it fail? Who's not attacking? The return of the multi-camera angles. Oh boy. That didn't do too bad. Ooh, that's actually not bad. Max Rock Fault. Probably would have been better to use a nice type attack, but... Yeah, that, that'll work. In fact, why didn't use a nice type? Come on. Maybe they were going for the Sandstorm. I don't know. Which would actually be good with Maractus, wouldn't it? Yeah, maybe... Maybe, maybe the guy with the Maractus and the Pillswine are working together. Maybe they know each other. Who knows? We might actually be able to pull this off. We've got a good enough team for this. Oh, we can we can do this. Uh, maybe not. Come on, five hit. Let's go with the five hit. Another three hit. That's that's solid. That's that's fine enough. Oh, the Maractus is probably only using Acupressure because he can't actually attack against them. I know you have ice moves. That will do better. Missed. Missed? Why missed? The moment I started thinking positively, it all just, it's all going to shit now. As long as it doesn't use Oblivion Wing on the Pillow Swine, I think we'll be fine. If it attacks me or the Maractus, I think that's like the best option. Max Airstream. 
Okay, not not attack the Marex like that. All right, I, I, you're right. Flying type. Yeah. What? We've only got like one left. No one else can die. We need to hit this guy hard and fast. Come on, five hits, please. Oh, you know what? No, it, it's hit. It's I'm dumb. It's hit on top. It's like triple axle or whatever. Of course, it's only gonna hit three times. Now you use the ice move. Now. All right, and now hopefully the vanillish actually uses an ice type attack instead of mist for some reason. Hyper point. Hyper voice. We could have done this, but no, the CPU messed up because the guy who had the vanillish decided to leave because he was a bitch. So now we don't get your battle. Cool. I'll take the hit on top. It launches kicks while spinning. If it spins at high speed, it may bore its way into the ground. Top hit. <sighs> Don't talk to me. Yeah, please. That was so disappointing. But I, I can get another Yavel in my time. That's fine. Anything's fine. I'd prefer to get the Necrozma so we can finish this. Alright. Next time. When we're searching for a team, if I get a bad vibe from them, we're gonna leave. Toby, you seem fine. Morgi Corgi. And Joe. We're not gonna ask who he is. We're just going to assume he's cool. Ooh, Dragadon. I like Dragadon, but he doesn't have any Dragon moves. Phalanx might be good. Or I'm gonna go with Phalanx. Even though we already have two fighting type attack. Fighting type Pokemon. Actually. Oh, go for Sigilyph. Sigilyph would be really good for this. They're gonna go for Bufalint. Read like a book. If this is for Necrozma, it might actually be pretty good. Psychic, that's not... Okay, I don't know who this is going to be. So let's see. We could fight Excelgore or Azumarill. Well, they're a fairy type, so we'd probably want Excelgore. What are you doing? Yes, let's fight the physical tank. I think Azumarill's a physical tank. That was louder than I thought it was gonna be. The boys are here. I wanted to use Phalanx on my team too. There were so many Pokemon I wanted to use. Oh. Well, Smart Strike kind of works. I guess. Sure. I'll use Smart Strike. That's all I've got. Okay, it doesn't sharply raise attack and defense, so I don't feel too bad about not using it. I'm just saying, we, we would have caught that Yvettel if, if, you know, if we had just all attacked them properly. I'm gonna let it go. It's over. <laughs> uh... As much as I'd like to Dynamax, it's just not a smart idea for me. 
There's no reason for me to Dynamax. Bounce. How are you using Bounce? What? Honestly, it might be better for the Pangor to just faint at this point. Well, no, no, no. It would be best if we could take out the Azumarill first, and then the person with the Pangoro could swap out to the Azumarill. If we can manage that. A crit. Okay. But we'd have to get one more person to attack. Like, the Bufalint would have to use Body Slam first. And... That was probably a best-case scenario. Other than like the other than like the Azumarill missing. Yeah, look at that. And then the Dragon finishes it off. Okay. Not too bad. As long as the person with the Pangoro actually gets the Azumarill, which uh hopefully our team is smart enough to let them let them do. Yeah. I'm trying to think, who would be a Psychic type Legendary? Or one that would be like reasonably in here, because like Deoxys wouldn't be in here or something. Maybe an Ultra Beast? But it wouldn't be Necrozma, right? Because Necrozma is not a Psychic type. I don't think. Okay. Okay. Okay, good. We're a good team, I hope. And then Grass or... Ghost. Dupling would probably be best, right? Then again, that's a Balasa. I'm gonna go Ghost. Oh, there's a, Gav there's a Galvantula over there and a Mr. Mime. We could have had them. Now, Dew Blades, I've used. I've, I've got a Aegis Slash in X and Y. It's like one of the only X and Y Pokemon I actually used in that game. But they were really good. Oh shit, I can't do anything here. <laughs> Alright, first impression then. It's the best I got. This is y'all, but this is y'all's battle. I can't do anything here. Why is the Bufalant Dynamaxing? Is that Getsus' eyepiece? I just noticed that. Why is that an equipment? Why is that a piece of clothing? I want it. Where do I get the new clothes, actually? Because there's no clothes store in the Crown Tundra, so where do I get the new stuff? Look, it's the best I could do. And there was a crit that was so fucking pathetic. <laughs> ah, Max Darkness. Okay, okay, I get it. I'm glad you're all good against this guy. I'll just use Sword no, I should I should be at least using Smart Strike. It's something. At least I'm the fastest Pokemon. Which means I'm the best Pokemon. Dig. You're really using Dig. You already had a super effective move, and you're using Dig. And you're using Bounce! I guess the Bounce makes a little more sense for you, but like... Oh, and you still got hit. 
Wait, 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 wait. Why would I hit the Pokemon that's in the air? That doesn't make sense. Hold up. Like, I mean... I don't think Bounce is the best option there. That was a good crit. But at the same time, like, that should not have hit the Azumarill in Bounce. That was wholly not worth it. Yeah, we all know what we're doing. Aqua Jet. You're going to move before the Dewblade anyway. We're not going to kill him this turn, are we? Oh my goodness. We were really going to die. We were really going to have a Pokemon die here. Sword Stance, what? I'm... Uh, uh, thank you, sir? I'm just going to use Sword Stance. I don't want to waste an extra power point. Stop using Aqua Jet! You had another move that was working perfectly fine! Why Smart Strike? What are you doing?! What?! <laughs> My team is fucking stupid! Why? Why not just use the super effective attack you have? Why did you all not do that? I didn't use Smart Strike because I'm low on the attack. And I knew you could finish it off with that. What? Oh, I'm gonna lose it. When I fight against people online in Pokemon, I get smoked. When I play with people online in Pokemon, we're all idiots! I guess that, that's the moral at the end of the day. We're all just... We're all just... Fellows trying to make our way in the universe, in the world. In this Pokemon world. I already have a Dewblade, but why not? Yay! I'm so done with this shit. Okay, the, at the end, we have a second type. It would be a good idea to get a Dewblade. You all want it. You do realize I'm the- No, 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 I'm taking this. Cool. Y'all realize we're fighting- We're gonna be finishing with a- Why did I even- Wait, why did I choose Phalanx? I kinda want Toby to have this. Fuck off, Joe. I hope Toby gets this. Asshole. And you did it for a relic camp. I'm half tempted to just go to the electric Pokemon. Muncharna. Muncharna makes the most sense. Oh, it's a Rotom. I guess. What items are we gonna get? Expert belt. Quick claw, that could be good. But I'm already fast, so I don't need a quick claw. I think the expert belt's probably the best to go with me for this. 
Shell Bell, Shell Bell, Leftovers. Alright, so I'm the one who got screwed with items. Because my Phalanx hasn't been good at all for this. That Rotom is jittery as fuck. Oh, good. Good! Yes! Let's all go to the Pokemon I can't fight! I hate you all! I better get this Rotom. I'm just saying. Alright? On the Dewblade? Really? Max Wormwind. On a Rotom. You know, maybe maybe the Pokemon that actually would have been good against Rotom, like the Dewblade. Never mind. Ah, yes. I probably shouldn't be using Sword Stance. No. Because at this point, we just need to go fast. We don't have time to add status ailments. I don't think. It's not like Phalanx is going to be doing that much anyway. I think we should be able to? Yeah, we should probably be able to take out the Rotom at the end of the next turn. No, it'll take like two more turns. Unless we get lucky with a crit. But I don't see that happening. I hope it uses Will-O-Wisp again. Nullified set changes, and Max Lightning! Oh, that's gonna kill! Nope, but it's not looking good. Alright. If someone gets crit here, I think we might be able to win. Nah, we're gonna have to do a second turn. That's fine. We'll at least get to the final Pokemon. Like, there's a nice bit of assurance in that. I'm just saying, maybe Relicanth wasn't the best to Dynamax with. Okay, now, now, if you want to use Aqua Jet Azumarill, that would be great. That might actually help us. That might actually finish him off. Maybe. Nope. But we're only we're only getting Will O Wisp, so we're good. second now. I mean, I get why they'd want to use play rough, but also... Aqua Jet might have gotten it? You never know. But hey, we get a Rotom. That's pretty cool. Yay!
please. Let me have the Rotom. Please. No. Uh, I mean, I'm happy Toby got something, but still. You do realize how bad Phalanx is going to be for this next fight. Pokesash, Life Orb, Psychic Seed, Eviolite, Weakness Policy. I don't know. I just feel like it'll be good. I don't think we're going to be able to catch this Pokemon. I really don't. Worth a shot. And we come to reveal... Sokaleo? Ah, uh, wasn't expecting that. I didn't even realize you were Psychic type. Oh, oh, I get to go first, but it doesn't mean anything, because look at me. Ah, my moves aren't too bad. It's for the best that I don't Dynamax, even though I want to. I think other Pokemon would be better for it, like the Rotom might be better. If it's Psychic-type, Dewblade or the Rotom would be better, I think. This guy with the Relicanth sure likes taking his time. Oh, that's not good for Dewblade at all. Will-O-Wisp actually is pretty good for this. We might be able to pull this off. Burn buddies. Alright. I could use Sword Stance. I'm gonna use Sword Stance. I'm probably gonna die next turn, or soon. Like right there. So it didn't matter. That's fine. I'll just know to just go straight to attacking next time. Okay. Yeah, we got this. The Dupli didn't... Well, he probably didn't want to because he got his attack really lowered, so that's smart. Or he doesn't have anything that good against him. Yeah, let's have the Rotom Dynamax. Joe has the... Oh, please tell me it's not the Relicanth. It's the Relicanth, isn't it? Do not do it! Don't. Don't. Do not Dynamax! Just do a regular attack and give it to Rotom, alright? Please? He's at full health and he does super effective against the Sogaleo. You don't need the Dynamax! I'm begging you! Please! But I mean, you know, you could also- Okay, he didn't. Okay, cool. Way to go, team. Ooh, okay. Alright, full heal on everyone. That's the good shit. Oh. That's not good. That was the one Pokemon we needed to live. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. I think I'm up for Dynamaxing next, actually. Which, at this point... Oh, Toby can. Wait a minute. 
But he's... Okay. I guess I'd be next. You know what? I'm gonna Swords Dance and I'm gonna Dynamax. If that's what's gonna have to happen, that's what's gonna happen. Yes, the lower the relic can. Only do that. Allow the phalanx to grow strong. You shall be swift in our attacks. I'm sorry, Toby. You should have gotten the Dynamax. But it's time for me to deal some damage. Not a ton. But uh, you, you know, we'll we'll get some we'll get some stuff done. Max guard probably would be good too. It's just it only blocks attacks for me and not my party members. Why do you think why do you think is always taking that Relicanth guy so long just to choose the liquidation for? He's probably texting someone while he's doing this. He's like He's just messaging his girlfriend, he's like, oh yeah, I got this rel it's the sick ass Relicanth. It's the best. It uses liquidation and deals damage. Decent amount. It's like, oh it's it's so good. Yay! Like you should see this mad fish lad. The boys are here. Go ahead. Use the super effective move on me. I want you to. Oh, good. And now Sword Stance got nullified. That's not super effective. That's not going to give me an attack boost. And it gives you a defense boost. Oh, everything went wrong for my massive damage strategy. I mean, that's still decent. Because it was a crit. Good. Okay. Assuming... Oh, they get another attack. We might be able to do this. Maybe. If we can get all our attacks on for this next turn, we can do this. I think. Oh hell yeah, feelings! Let's go. Dodge that headbutt. And get a nice max flutter bite to maybe not finish this. Oh, that, that did not do a lot. But we can finish this with a liquidation and then whatever do blades last. Oh, we might not. Oh, shit. Oop. You're kidding me. That doesn't kill the Rotom. Are we at... Oh, no. I'm gonna use Max Guard. Because if he goes for Phalanx, that would kill. And I think we're at the last health. It would be smart for them to go for the, uh... Rotom, but I don't know. Noble Roar. We got him! Nice! AI worked with us. Way to go, everyone. Things worked out. Grab an Ultra Ball over here. Yay! I'm really glad we actually get to finish this on a catch. I didn't want to end things like the last... The last one we got to. Cool. Uh, 
Azumarill, Dewblade, Rotom, and Sogaleo. High attack, low defense. Okay. And the Rotom has high special defense and low speed. Ugh. So I probably shouldn't have him then, because as much as I want a Rotom, low speed isn't good for them. So I'll go with a Sogaleo. Also, just in case that I need Sogaleo and Lunala, just to get to the Necrozma that I need to get. I've rarely run out of names, haven't I? Alright. Well, that was three Dynamax Adventures. I would have liked to- Hang on, hang on. Do you know anyone? Blaze fell on. I still don't know what that is. Alright, so we didn't get to what we were supposed to. Or whatever legendary we were supposed to catch. Necrozma or whatever. But hey, we got some Dynamax Adventuring done. It's always fun to do that. So hopefully the next time we play this game, we can actually get make some progress. Or, I'll take a break from doing this, and I'll go and do the footprint stuff with Sonya. But that'll have to be for next stream, which might be tomorrow. Probably tomorrow, if not Wednesday. I have reasons for that. If you want to stick around for when I'm playing Mario Galaxy, I'll explain that. But we're going to take a quick break as I set up Mario Galaxy, so stay tuned. <laughs> 